Okay, this is from Maxim Magazine, A Day in the Life of Mr. Met, the saddest guy in baseball. 7.05 a.m., wake up and roll out of bed and down the steps. Why did I buy a split-level house? 8 a.m., master bait to Rollings Glove Catalog. 8.15 a.m., play a little Major League Baseball 2K9 on the Wii. Pick my favorite team, the Yankees. 9 a.m., <laughs> watch the movie Old Yeller to cheer self up after thinking about the Mets 2009 season. 11 a.m., put finishing touches on new Mets catchphrase for 2010, slightly more exciting than the WNBA. 12.30 p.m., play rock, paper, scissors with GM Omar Minaya to determine 2010 lineup. 1 p.m., encourage Mets to have a team-wide steroid scandal in order to cover the shame of the upcoming season. 1.30 p.m., have lunch with Mrs. Mets. Ask her about the Philly Fanatic hairs found on the bed and on the washing machine and oddly in the chimney flue. 315. Plead with baseball commissioner Bud Selig to let Mets bat with large canoe oars. 4 p.m. Why player uniforms with bubble wrap to help prevent injuries? 4.30 p.m. Visit sick, <laughs> visit sick kids and apologize for the 2009 season. Get pelted with bedpans. Full bed pains. 5 p.m. Call Mrs. Matt and ask her about those Billy the Marlin scales found in the back seat of the car and on the hood and over the tire rack. 5.30. Ask City Field to host Hard Liquor Night to help fans forget. 8.05 p.m. Slip into a Snuggie, pour a glass of white wine, and watch the 1986 World Series highlight tape in a field position. At 11.30 p.m., crawl into bed with Mrs. Matt, and surprisingly, Colorado Rockies mascot Dinger, who said he just lost his contact, though that doesn't explain why he's naked. Oh, well, from the Predator.